So Mattia, not doing well. We just learned that you have to have more than one plant to pollinate. I, I, see. I didn't know that. I am always excited to share the late bloomer garden, but especially to my late bloomer fans. And this is Marciella Inahosa. Did I say it right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she's driven down from Canyon Country to see my garden. We're going to take a little tour, maybe take a tomato taste test. Ooh. We're going to share some seeds. And what was your first reaction when you got to the garden? It looks smaller. <laughs> I expected a giant garden. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So she's going to find out how to grow a lot of stuff in a small space. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Jerusalem artichokes. And um, these are blueberry. Ooh. And blueberry. I have actually three blueberry plants. Um, want to try one? Yes. Might want to wipe it off. <laughs> See what you think. Mm. Good. Nothing like I've ever tasted before. Really? Oh well. Amazing. Well, well, the the the, the sweeties are even better. <laughs> Let me show you those. This is uh, Amish paste. I have one here, and then purple basil here. This is the last of my this round of borage. <laughs> Have you seen my borage I've, episode? I it, have. Everywhere. This is a sweetie. She's gonna she's gonna try my sweetest tomato. Okay. Oh, wow! B big difference. Very big difference. Okay. Delicious. Okay. Okay. Good. Delicious. <laughs> I have one more cherry oh. tomato for you to try. Okay. And it is even. It's smaller, but, but even more intense. Come this way. See if you see a red one of those. That is the Philippine wild cherry. Okay, these are the Philippine wild cherry tomatoes. I got the seeds from Lauren, my friend in Germany, um, who's from the Philippines, and she sent me these, so try one. Wow. What do you think? Wow, very intense. I never tasted anything like that. You like it? I love it. Okay. Oh, I can eat this whole thing. Yeah, go ahead. Here, take it. Oh, <laughs> okay, these are amazing. Have you had breakfast? No. <laughs> there you go. Here's my worm tower, but I've got lots of stuff in there. And if we dug down in there, uh, we'd see all kinds of uh, worms in there. Yeah. So, are you tired of holding that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to take those for seeds? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, these are rattlesnake pole beans. I got the seed from my friend Charles in Alabama. Did you happen to see that vlog with Charles? I did not. Okay, you have to check that out. I will. Charles is this very, very, I love Charles. He's so energetic. He's so amazing. And of course he has a big, huge, like half an acre, acre garden or something. So he, he, he plows his, his garden with a tractor, but you see the little space that I have. So I created this uh, bamboo trellis and the rattlesnake pole beans are just going right up. This is the first thing that I saw when I was coming up your street and you standing and I thought, what an architectural, it's beautiful. Oh. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's four bamboo poles. but. <laughs> It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. But there's so many aphids and I know that there are monarch eggs on here, so I, I'm not so doing anything. Yes. Yeah. And I'm growing moringa in there. Have you tried my, I have moringa seeds for you. Oh, thank you. And oh. so I have two little moringas, so I'm hoping they go way up. These are all pineapple guavas, Mexican pink guava. So basically what I'm trying to do is my parkway, uh, turn it into a food forest more perennials than annuals and okay. um so less work <laughs> for me <laughs> marciella has brought me a balm that she made tell yes. me about it so this is something that we use at home okay my daughter suffers from eczema and i thought it'd be great to come up with something homemade yes 
right? And we have herbs at home. So I did a little research. Um, it's all natural. Right. There's no preservatives. Okay. Um, and it's like your homemade Neosporin. Let's see. Is it, what's in it? Lemon balm? Calendula. Oh, that's great. Calendula, sunflower. Nice. Chamomile. Mmm, love it. It's very, it's very wow, soothing. you did a lot. Yes, and it has four essential oils. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. So you can put it and on I need a larger. I need a larger one, then, if you, if you don't mind, because this not. is going to be gone in a week. <laughs> wow, that feels great. What, do you use it just like cream? Yes. Mm. This is one of the main things that Marciella was interested in is the I believe this is the Mexican marigold bush variety. My okay. neighbor actually gave me this and I didn't, I just planted the, so um, she's going to take some seeds and try to plant this at home, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that incredible? That's incredible. Wow. Yeah, that's I, a borage look, seed. Look inside ah good take all you want <laughs> what kind of a gardener are you i am a new gardener i do love gardening i don't have very much space we my, have that in common yeah my husband won't let me get rid of his grass okay we gotta work on him oh oh by the way my parrots there they go Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for coming all the way down here. Thank you for inviting me, Kay. Now she wants to come and volunteer. I need help. So <laughs> the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> A resounding yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. So Marciella was just telling me a little bit about herself. She, you have five children. Yes. And your, is it your oldest daughter? My oldest daughter. Okay. She is now attending USC. She's attending USC? Yes. First in our family to attend college. That is so awesome. Tuition free. What? Oh, <laughs> you're so fortunate. Oh my, very, I, I, I think blessed. I'm gonna cry. Wow, that's awesome. That is, what's she, what's she studying? Psychology. No, we're gonna change that to agriculture. Okay. Sustainable <laughs> agriculture. I love okay? it. <laughs> and you can inspire her. So, so there's time. Wait, wait, what, is she a senior? She is a senior. Oh, well. <laughs> She's graduating next year. Okay, graduate school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> graduate school. Yes. All right. So, uh, how do you think I can improve the garden? Get a bigger garden. Get a bigger garden. <laughs> wow, that's a concept. But um, what you have done with your space is amazing. Look what you could do. Yes. with a small space yes i'm inspired the first step is getting rid of the grass that is critical especially if you're in california yes i agree so uh, think about all the water that you're using on the grass could go onto your food i'm excited i know I'm and excited. you have a 10 year old i mean this is a yes. perfect age to inspire you know your kids future gardeners future gardeners exactly <laughs> So Marciella has her own Etsy shop. Yes. And she sells her lip balm. Lip balm. Face cream. And what's your what's your store name? La Bella V Spa. I think you better spell that. L-A-B-E-L-L-A-V-I-E Spa. All yes. right. It's awesome. Thank you. All right, well let me show you the backyard. Okay. You haven't seen what I'm growing on the driveway. <laughs> okay, so here's how you can maximize your growing food, you know? Okay. Even if you haven't taken out your lawn, you can get more pots. <laughs> you can put them on the driveway. <laughs> so right here I have 21 peppers. Oh wow. And I actually lost track of all the varieties. There's orange Thai and there's Phileas Blue and yes. there's Seminole Squash. This is my only one <laughs> so oh. far. But you see, and that, that will be, if it continues, that should be about that big and okay. orange, orange. And then right beside it, this is the kusha coming from a different pot. And I just said, this is going to be a great place to grow my loofah. <laughs> I got these seeds from my friend Sherry in Tennessee, and she grows loofah 
and aren't they amazing? They're amazing. <laughs> it's actually a cucumber. I'm hopeful. Right now it's like I only have two. Is it? Yes, you broke that leaf off. Oh, oh, there, there we go. Isn't that cool? It should be longer and skinnier than that. <laughs> okay, it was so nice to meet you, and we're sending her off with tons of seeds and one of my mystery pumpkins. So you're going to come back soon and help me, right? I will. <laughs> I promise. All right, huggies. Thank See you, you soon. You're See welcome. You I'm Thank so happy you. to meet you. Thank you. <laughs>